feel like that there are people listening to me in my house. It's making me uncomfortable. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a quick get ready with me for kind of what my go-to summer face has been. I kind of fell away from makeup because nurse life. <laughs> But um, when I do have things to do or basically running errands or just feel like putting makeup on This is normally kind of my go-to for like a busy day. So why don't we just jump right in? So I already did my eyebrows. I used my NYX micro brow pencil. Is this espresso? In espresso and then I used my Maybelline brow precise fiber volumizer um, I've been kind of liking I wouldn't say a natural brow, but not like a real bold, like brow pomade, tattoo looking brow, you know? So I still prime, prime my face. <laughs> I use my Cover FX the Blurring Primer. I got this in a boxy charm, and I've just been using it a lot because I feel like in the summer my pores get really big. I don't know if that's like a thing, but to me it's, it's a thing. So I just really pressed this mostly like in this cheek area because this is where I feel like my pores are the biggest and it just makes my face look so smooth. I gotta go with my sponge. All right, my sponge is wet. So I have not been using foundation like all summer. I just feel like it's just really heavy and I've been kind of liking my skin lately so I've just been using concealer and I use the Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. It took me forever to get into this concealer but once I finally spent the money and bought it, I'm never going back. So honestly, I do have to agree with what everybody says. The coverage is amazing and it does not feel heavy and like thick on the eye. I've tried a few different concealers like the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, my MAC, um, what's it called? Pro Longwear Concealer. Um, that was like my go-to for the longest. But I just find this one doesn't crease. It's lightweight. Um, it blends out beautifully. Like it just just sinks right in, you know? Not in your fine lines or anything, but. And I do bring it a little bit around my nose. I've been getting really red there lately. I'm not sure why. So I use it kind of to just brighten my face up. I still kind of use it as like a highlighting type product too, but definitely to like dark circles, you know? You know what I mean? Okay, so concealer's on, and I've also still been loving most of my powder products. I do find in the summertime I have oily skin. Um, well, I have combination, but in the summer I'm more oily. So I tend to lean towards more like powders, which I don't know why, I just feel like throughout the day it kind of will soak up the oil that's on my face. And I find, my Alexa just told me my package is here. This is my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in 220 Natural Beige. I use this just to set my concealer. Um, you'll see the other powder I use, but I like this one for under my eyes because it's really uh, lightweight. It's a little bit lighter than the other powder that I use. Um, so it just sets it a little bit better. All right, and then all over the face, I use my Studio MAC Fix Powder in NC35 gives me a little bit of coverage um, and I just I just feel like my face looks so smooth when I use it. I get a lot of compliments on my skin when I do this um, makeup look. I just feel like it enhances kind of what I already have going on and that's kind of what I've been into lately. So I don't contour a ton anymore either. I feel I feel like I've gone so minimalistic on everybody that it's like I used to be hella extra and now I'm just, I'm lazy. So for bronzer, to add some more color back into my skin, because I just, like, I'm looking in my viewfinder and I just feel like I look so, like, I've been using the MAC Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish. I feel like this is such a staple for a million and one people. Like, it looks so good on any skin tone. I feel like I just kind of put it everywhere. Like I don't work too hard to try and like give myself these really defined cheekbones or anything. So I just kind of 
want my skin to have, you know, a little bit of sun on it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, maybe I try and like contour my double chin a little bit. I mean, do I really have a double chin? Probably not, but some angles I do. And then I always go over my nose to almost make it look like, you know, I've been in the sun a little bit, you know? That's what we like. That's what we like over here. Boom. So I actually have not been using blush either. Whoa. I have not been using blush either. I had actually switched back to my Betty Luminizer by The Bomb. This stuff is so underrated, I feel like. I just feel like it's a beautiful eyeshadow. It works for your face. Like it's just, I just like it. So I'll take that same brush and it's really pigmented. So like watch your back, you know? And I just kind of almost put it over, give me sun. And again, I'm just kind of putting it everywhere. Like I don't really have like a rhyme or reason to what I do, but like, you know, general area type stuff. Um, that bronzer does have like a sheen to it. I don't know if you can see kind of the, I don't know, but it's very bronze, very like sun-kissed, glowy. Like I just feel like that. If a feeling was a movement, like that's what I, that's what it would be. Mm -hmm. So for highlight, oldie but a goodie. Just, I cannot get away from this. The Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. I just, it's just perfect for summer. It's a perfect glow. It's the perfect shade for my skin tone. Like it just, like look. Oh, that's so pretty. Just love it. I can't forget the cupid though. Give me some like luscious lips, you know what I'm saying? And I've also been liking the tip of the nose highlight. I'll do it like up here and then mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and honestly guys like this is this is pretty much it this is like what I look like on a day-to-day -day. that's a lie I don't look like this on a day-to-day -day. you know what I look like on a day-to-day -day? I look like how I did at the beginning of the video because eyebrows is like literally the only thing that I do like semi on the regular I don't even do that on the regular. I don't do anything on the regular. I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore, ever, because I'm lazy and I don't have time. So some days I'll set my face with MAC Fix Plus. Other days I actually use the Cover FX like Luminous Setting Spray. I'm gonna be honest, that's at my boyfriend's house. I would much prefer, I would much rather use that one today, but I don't have it and I'm not driving a freaking rent in to go get it, so. Honestly, some days you don't even really need this. Like I said, in the summer, I feel like I'm like really oily. So the oil kind of like sets all the powders in anyways, you know? And last, but definitely not least, definitely not least is my mascara. I use the Superhero It Cosmetics mascara in, I think it's like super black or something. Um, this stuff is like magic. It's like magical. And I just bought a new tube. I am normally a drugstore mascara fanatic, normally. Um, I actually got a sample of this in like an Ipsy or a BoxyCharm or something like back in the day. And I found myself always reaching for it and so I said, Aaliyah, buy yourself a freaking full size effing mascara, okay? Like, don't be cheap. So here I am today. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I just made an absolute freaking mess, you know? You see it? I just made a mess. Just look at the difference. There's a reason this stuff is $24. As far as lip products go, again, super minimalistic. Um, I do normally get like a little bit of powder over my lips, so they probably look kind of crusty and nasty. But I have been using, so I either use my Buxom, this is like the glittery gloss in Amanda, or I have another Buxom one. And again, I think that's at Jason's house. So, go Aaliyah. Um, and that, I love that one. It's kind of like a lighter pink, really sheer, really cute. And then I actually got this from Ulta and like their birthday, um, gift thingy. And it's a juice infused lip oil, which I don't do a lot of lip oils, but it has a little bit of a pink tint to it. And so it just makes my lips look so luscious, you know? So this is the finished look. Um, I say look, this is what I look like when I do a pretty minimal day. Like this is my go-to summer face. This has been it for a while now. It's just easy. It took me 22, almost 23 minutes to film, which means that if I'm doing it just on a normal day, I can probably get it done in like 
10 to 15 depending. I guess honestly it depends, you know, how good of an eyebrow day I'm having. So my hair is like half wet because I showered a little bit ago after the gym, but um, it'll dry down, get big and poofy, and that's about it. For my curly girls out there, if you're wondering kind of how I got these pretty defined but not dry and crusty looking curls, I will leave my video down below of my curly hair routine and my go-to styling products. Um, so there's a link down there, you know, somewhere. And honestly, that completes this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Let me know what some of your favorite summer products are. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.